Hey, what's up everyone? Peter here once again. I just wanted to show you guys um, how I'm going to fix my uh, over-frosted GE. I mean, I've already thawed out the refrigerator. I've cleaned it out. And so what I did was that I, un I undid the two screws that held this board over. And then when you take it off, all this was full of ice. And so what was happening is that you know the the refrigerator wasn't getting cold the dampers work everything works it's just that this was all frozen ice and one indicator to know without removing the panel is that this whole panel was covered with ice and so I basically unhooked the old heating element these are the two hooks that it goes with that it connects to and uh, basically I did um, an ohm test on it and basically, I'm not getting any more reading on continuity or ohms on the old unit. Let me show you guys. So basically, I got an ohm meter here. Doesn't have to be a super fancy one. I put it at 200, you know, ohms. And then uh, basically, uh, you want to you want to check the the old unit. There's other ways to check this. Let me see if I can get a hold of this somehow. So you got to crimp it this way, connect it one on each side, and check the ohms. Give me one sec here, let me see if I can pull this off. Alright, so basically I have it connected here, and if I touch this on each side, the ohm meter is not working at all. You should be receiving like around 16 to 18 ohms on this is what I believe. So I'm not getting it, that's the old one. So I'm going to go to the new one now. So here's the new one. There you go, I'm getting about 19 ohms. 18 plus ohms. So there you go, you guys. Either way, that's an indicator that this unit is bad. There's many other ways to take a look at it. And so, simply now, I'm just going to have to reinstall it. So all I have to do is reconnect the clips on each side, underneath, and put it back on. Alright, guys, so you just... Push the tabs back in, and then it simply hooks on right there. Align them to the holes on each side. So there it is, guys. It's being reinstalled. It's only held by two Phillips screws right over there. So you can pretty much tell how to put it back on. And then now I'm going to replace the board over it. Now when you replace the board, don't forget to reinstall the ground tab which goes on the top and I'll show you guys that as well. And this is also held on by only two screws. Alright guys, so you want to just get this and you can pretty much see where the mark was here when I removed it. Right over there, let it focus, give me one sec. Right over there. Sorry guys. Okay, now this panel is held on by a half inch uh, screw. And so, I, I mean, this could be quarters. Yeah, half inch, quarter inch uh, nut. And it just goes right here and right there. Alright guys, so basically again, it's already been replaced. The whole way this, this thing works is that uh, this is a single evaporator type refrigerator. So there's a fan up here. So basically my symptom was the fan was blowing and uh, the freezer was really cold but the refrigerator was not cold and my refrigerator was getting about only about 55 degrees. The damper is over here. I checked that and it would open and close so it was it was working. And so right down there, you see those grills down there? That basically is an opening for the air to circulate this way right so what happens is that it'll suck it from here because of the fan blowing upwards and then it's going to force the air when the damper door is open to cool the whole refrigerator but what happened was that i knew that there was something wrong because my whole panel right here was full of frost like this thing was ice covered so when i opened the panel if, if this thing ever becomes ice you know that the inside was full of ice already and so with that said um the air is now restricted from going up okay and also this would be another symptom if your ice cream is melting um 
you know, that means your heater is not working properly because once those coils get full of ice, the efficiency drops tremendously. And then also your ice maker is going to start melting. It's just a domino effect. So now I get to plug in my refrigerator and see how everything works. You guys, um, you know, I'm not a professional. This is a family channel. I just wanted to simply share how to check the heating element. It's a very cheap part. I mean, the, the element, uh, the heating element cost me about $11 on eBay. And all you got to do is remove it and do that test that I showed you guys earlier. This particular part is a G, G7102. This was an original GE product. There's a, I bought an aftermarket one. Um, and, uh, you know, I, and I did the ohms test. So needless to say, I know that the heating element doesn't work. And that is your one of the biggest major culprit. I mean, if you change the heating element or the heating element passes the test of, of the ohms test, um, obviously there's other problems like the thermistor or it could be your damper door. But what I did was that I checked the damper door. I opened this up, the screws, and I saw that the flap was opening and closing. And originally what I did about... A month ago was that I defrosted this refrigerator completely because I thought that it was just it just needed to get defrosted but then what happened was that it was good for about a few days and next you know I started noticing again a bunch of ice forming there and that's when I said you know what I'm pretty sure it's the heating element so you guys I'm gonna plug this in and uh, we'll see how it works there you have it guys so I plugged it in and it's already working I'm just waiting for it to start cooling, but usually sometimes before, once you plug it in, it'll sometimes take up to 18 minutes to sync up the computer and all that good stuff. Um, you know, and then and then once this damper door opens, it should uh, it should uh, start cooling. But I could feel air coming in here already, you know. But again, uh, I'm, it'll take a couple of days because I want to see if frost will build up again. So I'm going to leave this refrigerator empty for a couple days so I could really see what's going on and, uh, you know, go from there. Now, listen, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Uh, again, this is a family channel. This is the, um, the model number. It's a GSH25JSTASS. All right, let's check the temperature. Um... So the damper door is open right now it's registering at about 69 degrees so I gotta wait until it starts getting cold again uh, I could hear the compressor so I know it's on so keep checking right now I know that the damper door is open because I have the light on over here in the refrigerator side and if I cover the back see with my hand covering it so the damper door is open so that's good and I can feel the air getting a little colder now so that's a good thing as well all right guys it's been about 25 minutes and actually to about 20, 30 minutes and the temperature has dropped about six degrees ignore the bottom number that's the temperature of my garage 62 is the internal temperature of the refrigerator everything's working good damper door appears to still be open registering at about 44 degrees on the damper door okay and the freezer oh yeah there we go 39.9 40 so it's uh it's definitely working it's definitely working all right guys so anyway if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment down below this is a family channel please click like and subscribe and the notification bell if you um you know want to be notified when we upload a video and also i'm gonna put links on down below in the description where when i change the motherboard of this um, refrigerator also the ice maker that i replaced Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and post your messages down below if you have any and I'll try my best to answer it. Have a good day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.